Hello everyone! So I'm recording another video today. Um, I decided that I'm going to upload a video every two days, so I think it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So today I am wanted to do something a little different, so I went back to my normal sketchbook because I got it back. <laughs> and um, I've been really inspired by these models lately um, that I have on Instagram. They're mostly fitness models, and so I really like the poses they were doing. So I decided that I was going to draw them. Um, I didn't really know if I wanted to do all their different outfits or what I really wanted to do yet, but I certainly wanted to get some practice with my anatomy skills, which was one of the things I'd put in my fear sketchbook, <laughs> but I uh, accidentally said autonomy um, in my video. But um, this isn't so much about the anatomy as it was about... Um, designing because I decided that I wanted to design swimsuits for these models because um, summer is coming up and I think that they would all have really good beach bods to go out and play in the um, in the water and you know have have a whole bunch of fun so um, there's varying people here um, this girl that I'm drawing right now, she's a younger girl, so I decided to like keep her bottoms because I didn't really know how that would work. I'm not good in anatomy. <laughs> um, and there's some, not really any older older people, but there's people maybe in their 30s. Um, there's people with larger breasts and smaller breasts and just um, the varying degrees of curviness. And so I thought it was really interesting. Um, as you can see, I actually decided to ink this. At first I wasn't going to because I never ink anything <laughs> in my sketchbooks. But that was one of the things that I said I wanted to get better at was making complete drawings and like inking and erasing the line work and just having like a nice completed drawing. So I went over the lines I had made but I left the area near the bust and near the um, privates, <laughs> uh, I left that still sketched in because I wanted to design swimsuits for them and I wasn't sure exactly how they were going to fit around each person yet. Um, so I looked up popular swimsuit designs and I was kind of mitch matching and deciding what I wanted to do. Um, and I decided that because I had already penned them in that I was going to just do the swimsuits in Sharpie um, because I thought that it'd be like a really neat contrast how it's all just white and black. Part of me wanted to do like crazy colored swimsuits but I didn't really have the markers to do that at the time and I thought that it'd be too difficult for me to decide patterns and colors as well as like just regular designs for the swimsuits on the different types of bodies. So I had these first three. We have um, a bikini and a regular and then this like tankini, I guess, where it has um, higher hips, higher, what's that called? It's high-waisted <laughs> um, and just a regular um, block on top where there's no straps, just like the first one. And then for the next set, I had a little bit of problems deciding what I wanted to do um, with her bottoms because she her pose is really confident and so you can tell like she takes a lot of pride in her body so I wanted her to have like something that was like just fit that aesthetic and so I decided to do the double strings on each side of the bottoms and then the strings matching the strings on the bottom on the top um, three there because I really like the way that looks. Um, as I said earlier, this body, um, the fifth body, <laughs> is belonging to that of a younger person, so I wanted to keep them quite modest and quite, um, like, non-sexualized and just quite the way they were. They were in, um, like, leotard for ballet, which is why they're wearing ballet shoes, and I accidentally kept the shoes. <laughs> but, so I decided to continue with that kind of aesthetic, and I gave her a full body swimsuit with only, um one shoulder strap because some leotards are that way too where it's only one shoulder strap and then it goes down um, diagonally to the other side of the body. Anything else I can talk about? Um, I'm just using regular Sharpie and pen. My one pen crapped out 
like halfway through the first body, so I had to try another one, and that was a little upsetting. But um, it was okay because I I got over it. <laughs> um, so for this body, I actually wanted to do this cool crisscross bathing suit top that I saw online. I had a little problem with the um, with the breast on the right side of her body because the way it showed up with the sharpie is that you couldn't see the details of the bikini or like the line, the like crease of the breast. So it was kind of really hard to decide what I was doing, and the whole like swish wash swish wash <laughs> crisscross pattern totally went away once I blocked it in I should have like went over it with white gel pen or something afterwards but I did not and for the last person I thought that since it was just a torso I might as well uh just give her a top so I gave her just a cute little um like not spaghetti strap like a thicker strap top and I don't know. I, I wanted to give her hair, but since none of the other ones had head, it kind of had a head. It kind of seemed like favoritism, and I didn't want it to seem like she was better because she had a head. <laughs> I actually just ran out of space on the page, which is why these two are just tops um, instead of like full bodies like the others. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and these are my swimsuit bodies. Thank you. <laughs>